I grew up just less than a half mile from here. This area's been a part of my life as far back as I can remember. To grow up in this neighborhood, we didn't have too much, but the little that we have, we use it to help somebody. And so that's what life is all about. Life is not about yourself, it's about what you can do for somebody else. I've been here for 56 years, so your daddy used to do this. Yeah, that's back right. In the day. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He started here in 19... What year was that? 46. Working on the, on the back porch. That's 76 back, years ago. Back porch got crowded, and mm. Mom said, you got to get these people from around the house. <laughs> <laughs> this is a place where if you, if you don't want to hear about faith, don't come in the door. God got to be the center of your life. Love your neighbor as yourself. Yeah, Matthew Lord is good. My shepherd. <laughs> I came to save the lost sheep. No man come to the Father Set by. but by me. Mm -hmm. The barbershop is a culture, really. It's a culture to let you know that you don't have to stay in the position that you're in, you can move forward. What you learn in this place is individual responsibility. You learn self-respect. You learn how to debate issues and how to defend your position. And, and obviously, you learn a whole lot about the Lord. And uh, you get little little nuggets of advice, too, like don't take a wooden nickel. Yeah. I mean, this is, you always get the advice from Bobby on the way in and out. This is a success story that many people don't know about because having multi-generational businesses in the African-American community is a rare experience. So much of the black community was not able to participate the first 190 years of America's free market system. You can't just treat people any kind of way. You got to have the love of God in you. And if you have that love, your business can last forever. Cause you won't mind serving forever.